this is a good time to just sit and be content for a while with what you've achieved already. Um, rather than pushing, pushing, pushing forward in goals, stop, think about, so if you've got a long-term goal, stop and think about what it is you've achieved so far. And Taurus likes to take little steps then because Taurus has got a big bull, small feet. So just wants to take little steps. So then it's all about taking slow, small, patient steps, enjoying the process, really enjoying the process of things um, and concentrating on long-term satisfaction. We know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Think about what life would look like if you had the foundation to do the shadow work, understand where you're holding yourself back, and the confidence to bring some everyday magic elements into your life, follow your intuition, and know exactly the steps forward for you. Well, that's what we teach you and more in our Holistic Witchery program. Be sure to get on the wait list for Holistic Witchery. It's the one class we think everybody should take here at the Sisters Enchanted. It has changed so many lives and is at the core of all of our fundamental beliefs about who we are and how we propel ourselves forward in a way that makes great change for ourselves and those around us. Check out holisticwitchery.com, get on the wait list, and we can't wait to welcome you into class just as soon as enrollment opens. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. Uh, I'm Anna, and I'm with Sarah Milne, uh, part of your team, Sisters Enchanted team yeah <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Hi, how are you this morning good you know i think that we promised that we would not be foggy for this week but i yes. have no promises i <laughs> i have no promises for my personal fogginess um but what is happening this week is there clarity more clarity on the horizon is there a little bit of some setbacks what's happening well we have Mars moving into Taurus this week. Mars transitioning into Taurus, which kind of comes up because Mars has been in Aries. So it's been, if you've been quite fiery and quite like, you know, just too much fire, frustrations, just all this kind of like moving, kind of just go, 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 and just need a bit of a oh, calm down, then this is good for you because it's going to feel like quite a relief after Mars being in such headstrong Aries. It comes at quite a relief when Mars is in Taurus because Mars, of course, rules our motivation and um, our will and our will for action. So it kind of Mars in Taurus, like Taurus the bull, likes to just stop for a while where, where it is and just like Taurus loves peace. It loves nature. It loves art. It loves beauty. And it just wants to stop and just, be and just chill out and just look at what's around and just enjoy where it is if it's got a lush field just let's eat this grass why need this money to move for now so this is a good time to just sit and be content for a while with what you've achieved already um rather than pushing 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 forward in goals stop think about so if you've got a long-term goal stop and think about what it is you've achieved so far and Taurus likes to take little steps then because Taurus has got a big bull, small feet. So just wants to take little steps. So then it's all about taking slow, small, patient steps, enjoying the process, really enjoying the process of things um, and concentrating on long-term satisfaction. Like Aries wants immediate satisfaction, but long-term satisfaction. Um, it's not all about like, well, how you're impacting in this heat of the moment. It's all about, well, you know, if I just do this, and if I just do this every day and just make these little steps, then I will be able to um, really enjoy something in the um, in the long term from this. So relax, slow down, and enjoy the process is the overall thing. And I'm really pleased because I'm, run, I'm training for London Marathon right now. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to have this kind of like, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the process. I'm just going to enjoy the training. I'm just going to like be able to just keep steadily going and like slow and steady wins it. So it's cool. Not the race, of course, but the training, certainly. 
Well, but, Sloan said he could win the race too because if well, somebody overexerts themselves and then slows actually, down. Yeah, this happened with me recently, actually. I did do well in a race because I did sort of like just keep a pace and other people kept, were stopping and, and walking and stuff. So yeah, absolutely, you're right. So my free top hip tips, free top hips? No, free top tips this week is, we've, like I said, we've all got a goal. We've all got one of those goals, whether it's deciding to run every day, not every day, you've got to have your rest days, or whether it's you've got a book that you want to, you want to read or you want to learn a new language or you want to um, start a new business. We all have one of these things that we pick up and put down. We like go really far with it. Like we, we spend a week just, yes, yes, I'm on this. And then you're like, oh, I'm burnt out now. I put all my energy... I put all my energy into this and, and now I've burnt out. So I'm just putting it back down again. Um, so if you have got one of those things, I'm sure we all have, I've got books half written in drawers. I've got all sorts of things that I, you know, bought all the books and bought, maybe you bought all the gear or the books to really determined to go ahead with this and then you burnt out. So now pick that back up again and just let Taurus take you on a slow, steady kind of, I'm going to do something little each day and make slow progress, but I'll get there in the end and it's going to be really rewarding when I do. So that's a good thing to do this week. Also do something that just simply is, you're simply doing it only to enjoy the process. Something that will be really good is like a Mandela um, with you know, the, the sort of like patterns. You could do it in sand um, or with petals or nature, things that you find on a walk. Just create something. It doesn't have to be Mandela. It could be any picture, any art. Create something, for example, what you're just doing simply to enjoy the creation of it and maybe like Taurus do it in a beautiful place and then you know that you're not gonna be able to take it with you and the, it's gonna rain it's gonna be windy and it's gonna just blow it all away but it doesn't matter because the process was the purpose that's a very kind of Mars in Taurus kind of energy and another thing is to learn something new that is going to demand um that constant kind of slow progress something like a learning a new language i'm trying to like learn ukrainian at the minute and it's really difficult but i feel like i have obviously like as i said before i have ukrainian guests with me and i'm involved with a lot of um things with ukrainians and community and i kind of feel why should they have to learn they do they all very motivated to learn english but i feel like i should be like showing something some will to learn some ukrainian and i'm sure i'll go to ukraine after the, the war's over so i'm trying to learn ukrainian so that's a really good idea like for this energy because it's going to take a long time it's going to take very slow and steady progress you can't learn that sort of a language overnight but once i have learned it it's going to give me such satisfaction so something like that a new skill you know something yeah it's a really good thing for this week too i really like that and i think that is also portrayed in our card falls fancy Yay. that this week um this week i am um sharing the dust to onyx tarot Ooh. by Courtney Alexander and this is a great deck. I have a smaller version of it, um, but it's adorable, like very matte, beautiful cardstock, oh. really pretty golden edges. Mm. And um, I have uh, what is titled Papa Coin this week, which is kind of mm. like the king of pentacles energy mm. as well as Papa Blades, so swords. Mm. Um, and I really like these energies for this week, especially uh, because you are talking about Aries, which mm -hmm. is highly like motivated, focused, um, will succeed um, when they're when they're focused enough to do so. But the mm -hmm. fact that it's in Taurus and giving you this one um, really stable coins mm -hmm. energy, which is slow and steady, mm -hmm. it is methodical. It's not Aries energy that's a fly off the cuff and mm -hmm. and run without a plan. This is planned. This mm -hmm. is Taurus energy mm -hmm. coming in and being like, okay, thanks for the fire. Now let's now let's pave the way. Now mm -hmm. let's make sure the field has been like tilled the right way. Let's make mm -hmm. sure that it has enough sunlight and mm -hmm. really make the plans to start planting. And not only that, with this swords energy that is very rational, very focused, and now you've had all that fire energy. And so instead of burning out, you can slow and steadily put together your next thoughts, your next yeah. actions in a way where you can really think because swords are, are, are air and thinking. 
and really think and put things into focused action so that you don't have burnout. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's yeah. a really great thing with like um, with Mars. I keep saying Aries, but like Mars and Taurus. Aries mm. energy. Um, yeah. But that because you can have burnout, especially when there's yeah. Mars yeah. happening. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that the card pulls this week are like, OK, like you've had the fire. We've had a lot of creativity the last couple of weeks. And now mm. is a really good time to have it not become an engulfing flame, mm. but to contain it and, and nurture it in the way that it's not just combustive energy, yeah. it's methodical energy. And that creativity is now being put into like rational thought so that mm. it can fade into something in a focused and concise way, yeah. uh, really pulling things together, um, really focused. And so I think that that's a great, it's a great, it's a great week to have these kind of both mm -hmm. kind of um, king sitting focused energies um, yeah. coming in mm. to kind of like balance out kind of a few weeks of a little bit of creative um, I, the creative wind. We've had a lot of creative wind. Mm. This is a good time to kind of focus it and, yeah. and be able to speak like to it, it in a concise way. And to I make like it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking about also like really grounding creative creativity. Like you might have like in your in these last few creative weeks, maybe there's something that you really need to ground now. Like um, you know, yeah. so my ideas and things like that. For sure. So I think that's a really good, mm. really good card pull. So yeah. Consistency and focus. Yeah. And, yeah. And not letting yourself have burnout, um, yeah. whether it's creative burnout, work burnout, yeah. um, mm. summer burnout, it's hot out, yeah. you know, just take a second yeah. to like yeah. Yeah. take a yeah. deep breath, ground, and then put your thoughts in order so that they don't consume you because fire yeah. energy will consume you. And that, mm -hmm. you know, grounded Taurus energy is kind of like a fan, <laughs> like a, not even a fan. Cause you don't want to like yeah. fan on fire, but it's more of just like a <sighs> cool towel wrapped yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. The heat is getting to be too much. And I, I feel like that. that's what these two energies are. They're kind of just like both. Yeah. Okay. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. And if like me, you're training for a uh, an autumn marathon, this is absolutely perfect because like Mars in fire just wants you to run too fast and just burn out. But this is like this is perfect kind of like now for this month of training, just uh, just going to keep it slow and steady. And we're just going to be able to do that little bit each day and build up our endurance. <laughs> I see. I don't know what that feels like because that's not me. So, <laughs> but Sarah is amazing and is going to run that marathon because Sarah does everything so. she sets her mind to. So, I hope so. Marathon training is one of these things. You know, you never know. You could you could get an injury. You never know what's going to happen. I always like. Which is why slow and steady is so important. Absolutely. I uh, yeah, absolutely. And rest yeah. days. I always say like I hope I'll be running. I never say I am definitely doing this marathon because you yeah. never. Yeah. No, well, your body can't run on inflammation. So every time you train, mm -hmm. every time like your feet hit pavement or sand mm -hmm. or wherever you're running, like your body goes through like a moment of inflammation, you know, your, yeah. your muscles work. And, and a lot of times, like, that's why you're supposed to switch. Like you have leg day and then your legs are on fire yeah. the next day. You don't do leg day again. You switch and yeah. you have an arm day, you know? Yeah. And then when those are sore and your legs are still a little bit sore, you switch to, you know, core day because yeah. The, the inflammation needs time to like resettle itself and become mm. put, be put back into a place of normalcy. Um, yeah. And I think that a lot of times we always lean into, cause it's just like, I think just the, the, the nature of the world that yeah. in general, and just like, what is the new norm that we're always so stimulated? Yeah. You know, like yeah. Media, yeah. Social yeah. media, everything. We're all so yeah. stimulated and we're yeah. almost always all running on this, yeah. this, the scale of like inflammatory nature. It's true. It's true. And Taurus really does want to settle that. It's just yeah, and, and it's that like cool grass no. and relax. Yeah. 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 And they've got little feet. They can't, they can't, they can't. take, they, they're big, but they've got yeah. these little feet and they can't afford to be inflamed because they need to be stable. Exactly. So I think that this is just a really good week to be like, yeah. I would even just say sideways, this would be a really good week to like put a timer on your social media. 
Yeah. And put a, like, you know, put a timer if you're on the couch for too long or if you've been pushing yourself for too hard and you're doing a project, you're doing a research to put a timer on it and to remind yourself that it's OK to take a break so that yeah. we don't combust. We don't yeah. we don't overexert and have burnout because being in a state of constant inflammation, whether it's physical inflammation or mental, uh, you have to stop and you have to give yourself yeah. time to settle back down. Yeah. so that you don't have burnout and you don't have yeah. overwhelm. So yeah. that's that's yeah. my hot tip for this week. Yeah, so absolutely. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got a little bit tangenty this one, but you know, yep. this is our enchanted land. We yeah, do that sometimes. We do. Yep. <laughs> so Sarah, thanks so much for being here with me. Um, as per usual, we will see you next week on another yep. episode of the Exhibition of Soul podcast. And we also really appreciate all of you who show so much love for the astrology um, podcast every week because it Absolutely. is a delight and we, we're here for it and we love to do it. So yep. we will see you next week, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Bye. If you liked this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast, please rate, review, subscribe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, it will really help us spread everyday magic, intention, and intuition to the masses and helps us so much as a small business. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. There are new episodes every Tuesday and astro forecasts for the week ahead every Friday. If there's any topics you'd want to hear, anything you want us to dive deeper into, shoot us an email at magic at the sisters And as always, thank you so much for listening and being part of the community here at the sisters enchanted, and we'll see you in the next episode.